Hello everyone, my name is Natalie and I'm with my mom. And <laughs> we actually rented bikes so we could come, well, the tunnel's behind us, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about the abandoned house, but I figured I'd stop at the tunnel and show you guys. Neither one of us have rode bikes in so long, so I'm, <laughs> I'm literally dying right now. This is Bonds Creek Tunnel number 13. Let's travel at your own risk. 353 feet, wow. Keep in mind that at the tunnel, you could see at the end that it curves over. It's not a straight stretch. That's important information for the, the history of the tunnel and the wreck that was here. I'll show you guys the little plate. I'm not gonna talk about the history much. I'll show you that and then we'll go to the house and explore that. I feel like last time we were here, the tunnel, there's so many people walking through. Yeah. We couldn't investigate, but I feel like if any place is haunted, it's gonna be this bridge and not the actual tunnel itself. You can pause and read this if you want, but basically on May 31st, 1956, a train was coming out of that tunnel and it wasn't able to stop in time because something was in the way and they wrecked and they went over this bridge into the water and it killed two people, the engineer and a firefighter and injured about 29 passengers. That's why that's important that that tunnel curves is because he didn't see until it was too late and he didn't have time to stop. I think we're we should do the tunnel sometime, or the uh, bridge sometime in the evening. Yeah, that'd so be nice. Go down over the embankment where they might be. But we'd probably get more activity down there over the embankment than we would in the tunnel. We've tried to investigate in the tunnel a little bit, but didn't get too much. So that's why I never had a video. I'm sure there's some way to get down there. That's crazy to imagine that a train just derailed and went over. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's just a little snippet of the tunnel. Um, now we're gonna go find the house. Some, somebody there with lights to slow the trains down, speed the trains up. Maybe. Yeah, I have no idea. So half a mile down, you get to a town. That's true. There's, there's Would it be a train station? Because it did. That one did carry passengers, is what it said. I wouldn't think they'd offload here, though. Yeah, because there's not really much here. No. So if anyone knows what that could be for, um, let us know in the comments, because we. We wonder that every time we come here. Okay, I stopped recording so I can get back on my bike, but as soon as I did, my mom pointed out that there is this little chimney hidden over there. I wonder if there's a way to get to it. I'm gonna... Yeah, you know me. Uh, you can go that way. I'm gonna try and go this way. Looks like there's a little more open here. To be completely honest with you guys, we were here a few hours ago today. That's the abandoned house over there that we're going to. But we didn't see this chimney when we were here. Be careful of thorns. There's lots of thorns. Oh. Yep, I found pieces of the house right here. There's a little stone oh, wow. and rock. Oh, oh maybe. Wow. Yeah. And that, look, it must have been a second floor. That's a chimney for a second floor, maybe. Yes, because they had fireplaces in all the bedrooms. That is so cool. I wonder what this was. Yeah, oh, look, there, that's a whole, like, root cellar right there. I don't know if you can really see it in the camera. I'll try to get down for you guys. Oh, if I don't fall down. Yeah, I don't really know if you guys can see well in the camera, but down there it looks like there's walls. This must have been a, a doorway. A bed frame? Right here. Oh. She. Oh, you can look like a furnace down there or something. Yeah, from over here you can see it better. Like, there, there must have been a doorway right here. And then there's the wall. I don't really know what that thing is. Furnace of some sort. That is so neat. And then over there's the chimney. So wow. there must have been a main room here and there. This must have been like the cellar and maybe above it was like the kitchen or something. I don't know. You can, oh, only, like. you can only really use your imagination. That is neat. We didn't I'm see this last it. time we were here. No, we didn't come back in. All we saw was the chimney. It comes out. You think there's a house up there? I don't know. There's a drain that comes out though. Yeah. And somebody, that might be someone's private property up top. Hmm. Yeah, this. It looks like. it, yeah, it looks like a fireplace, just like in the middle of the hill. Yeah. That's crazy. 
That's really cool though. All right, so here is the house and we actually made a video here before a few years ago, or was it last year? It was last year actually. Um, I don't know how the video actually is. I don't think it was the greatest quality. So here we are again. I'm hoping that I can give you guys some better footage of the house so you can really imagine what it used to be like in its old days. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. You really got to use your imagination. Imagination. See if I lived here, I'd first I'd get rid of that tree because it's a little too close to the house even though it is pretty. That tree. The tree would have to go because it's on the roof. Yeah. And it blocks your view from the windows. It's true. Not that there is much of a view. Other than that there. Something. I don't know if it'll work without mm. us. So. Yeah, earlier when we were here, uh, my mom had her camera with her and it was really, really weird because it, outside of the house, it was like halfway charged, but the second she walked in, it died. And then she'd walk back out and it would be fine so i don't know if maybe it's overheating or what but i just oh think that's gosh. a little strange maybe it's ghostly we just got here and it says i'm not sure how what your ghost tube yeah just that's now. so funny because i was just saying that i don't know why your camera was this doing is, that and not then sure how ghost tube. i don't that's so cool that is this is exciting I running and see, see what happens see i like that when you walk in that there's the staircase i just wish that you had more than just like two feet of space yeah. I'm gonna start walking this way. I'm assuming this must have been the living room. <laughs> yeah, there's that fireplace is completely blocked off. Not usable. The ceilings the ceiling needs a little work done. <laughs> it definitely doesn't look safe to be standing on that top floor, but it's a good thing I weigh practically tiles. nothing. That's down. the Wow. I mean the uh this floor seems to be in previous shape. Yeah, but when we went to that root cellar, it was... That's all the insulation underneath Oof. falling down. Um, I think good. this is neat. This could be like a little storage space for your firewood for the fireplace. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, never mind. This was part of the fireplace. Either that... I don't... This was the, the mantle, and your fireplace was out a ways, like a gas fireplace. Maybe, because this kind of, th there's oil. like shelves here and it kind of looks like you could put your firewood or like, if it was me, I'd be putting my movies and all that kind of stuff back there and then hanging the TV up here. That'd yeah. be pretty cool. I mean, the paneling looks pretty crappy, but the plywood and stuff behind is still in decent Yeah. Shape. It's still a lot of work. Watch and there's hole. just, yeah, a hole there. What if that was the hole? That's the furnace. Oh. I was gonna say maybe to get to the, the cellar. No, no, that's the head floor for us. This okay. room, this room's probably my favorite in the whole house, mainly because of these windows. You won't understand. You won't understand. Huh. What won't we understand? Could you speak into my mom's phone and tell us? I do, I still love the windows though. I think they're gorgeous. And if you got rid of like those trees out there, that'd be such a beautiful view. And you could put your like gazebo or something out there. I'd have a, I would have a- Yeah, your something table. Something there with plants, herbs. Oh yeah, that too, that'd top. be nice. They do have those little hooks up there. Mm -hmm. It's a spider too. But look at the kitchen space, like the pantries. I bet you the fridge was over there or maybe the stove was over there. Stove, there's a gas line. Stove. Where would the fridge have been? Well, maybe you could probably put it in the corner. Cause you have an outlet right there. That's true. Unless the fridge went next to the stove. It'd be a very small stove. I mean, it was like what, 1800s, 1900s? I don't know. I love the sink top. Yeah, this is gorgeous. That's watching. That is like 50s era. Mm-hmm. I love it. And the counter space. Oh, I love the counter space. Really? That's something I wish I had in my house. This counter space. Whoa, is that popcorn butter? Yes. Oh my god. I didn't know they sold that by the tub. That's crazy. Oh yeah. Yikes. Is this the pantry or is yeah. this the laundry room? It's, well, I mean, it was a laundry room, but if you put shelves right there, you could have a nice pantry. Mm. That is true. Maybe the washer and dryer were like here, like washer and dryer, yeah. and then your little pantry here, unless that's where they kept like, 
I don't know. Come back. Come back. Went into the kitchen? Back into the kitchen? Oops, excuse me. Is there something in here you're wanting us to see? Is there something you want to tell us? Yeah, because there is this doorway here. So I feel like, hmm, I don't know. I would want to, I would want to put a wall between these two. So that way you can have your little pantry there. And then this area could just be the laundry, laundry room. And then you could put shelving up there. So then you have, you know, that door to go to the pantry oh, and this door, yeah, to go to your laundry room. And then a way to go outside. And then this way, you know, the, the haunted bathroom and under the stairs that'd be a good storage spot yeah i do remember last time we were here when we were in this bathroom that's like the place that the emf would constantly go off but there's no electric in this house at all man i look like a tomato yeah <laughs> you could put a um staircase right here to go down to the root cellar you could take right. this part out and put a staircase in that'd be nice I'll, we'll try to go to the root cellar too um, Bugs. Yeah, you, you walk in here and they attack you. Hold up. Is there the light don't There's work. no light. Yeah. There's no light. light don't Australia. work. Australia. But look okay, look in this, Mom. They have a curtain to put shelves in their shower, like in their actual tub. Like, is that where you put your like shampoo and stuff? Or is that where you put your towels? That's where you put your towels. Wouldn't they get like damp or a little wet? Um, I would use it for shampoos and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I would use it for that. I guess okay. I'd put the towels in the laundry room area. Yeah. That'd be... That would work. In this room, I would use this either as this my- become my library. Yeah, I was gonna say so either good. library or like my computer room for my editing and filming. Oh. You got here. slides in your head. Oh. You got like four or five of them up there. Oh. Don't yeah. smell that good, guys. Please. I would, yeah, I would use this for my, like, editing room. Maybe my filming area. Like, that's a cute little area. Look how ancient the wiring is. They have the, um, screw-in fuses. Wow. Jeez. What? It says bring it to me. Bring what to you? What are you wanting us to bring you? We, we might be able to. Yeah, this mattress definitely looks new. Someone's been sleeping here. Sorry, your voice. Oh, I'm Somebody is sleeping here. There's a weak spot in the room. Okay, I'm gonna go up the stairs. I'm gonna start with this room over here. Mm -hmm. Got holes on the walls, flooring and insulin's coming up. Yeah, this well, room. The old linoleum. This room's like the size of my house. That is really neat. That's pretty. I like the pattern on it. I don't know if that's intentional or not. This room is gigantic. This, this be my kids' room, or just my storage room. This one might be my, this, if I had kids, this would be my kids' room. And then that one would be my storage room. And then my room would be that one down there because it's got a nice closet. I'm not sure. You're not sure? Not talking I wish we could like ask them what each of the rooms were used for at the time. Hey look, Jim Carrey, liar liar. Mm -hmm. This, yeah, this is another one of the rooms. It's also just as big. And I think it's funny here that like people were trying to be all black satanic and then someone's over here like nope wrong what is this all hail jesus oh, okay so maybe the person with the red was all like oh we love jesus that's that's an angel number not a satanic number and that's why they made that and not upside down i don't know yeah Crazy. this is a nice room though i'm lost huh Lost as in Are you, you home? find your way home, or lost as in you need help mm -hmm. getting to the light. This, this be my room. I like that closet. That's actually a small closet. These are newer windows. 
up here. Like someone came and did new ones? Like these are newer windows. Like, I don't know when they were put in. I don't know. There is a number downstairs that says this place is for sale. And like, honestly, it's really gorgeous. And I wish I had the money to buy it and fix it up. Oh, me too. Yeah, but if I, if I worked from home or if I made a living making like content, I would love to just live here. The only time I'd leave is get groceries or go film. So we decided to bike down a little bit more to see if we could find any more abandoned houses. And there looks like something there, like some little platform of a house. It used to be a house. It used to be. And then there's this, which my mom said might be like a con what the conductor's train station. I'm recording on my phone, but... Whoa! Come check this out! It, there's stairs, it goes down. Okay, well, I'm coming in. Wow, how cool is that? This is cool. I'm gonna go down to the... Uh... The river. I don't know, it's like watery and gross down there. Yeah, I don't know. Dude, fuck, it's a frog. It's a fro <laughs> oh, are you okay, little guy? Uh, the f scared the crap out of me. Okay, that's. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay, I'm not gonna go into this one because I think it's part of someone's property, but. Pretty cool. I wonder if it was a house or if you think it was like a garage or something. That's really cool. Small house. It's right there by the water. We were driving back through and I just noticed that behind the house. It is by the water though. That's pretty cool. Well, that could have been where they put some of their food. Maybe. I mean, maybe there could be stairs that could go down to like an actual root cellar and then maybe that was just a basement. That's true, like a storm cellar type deal. Yeah. Okay, my mom went because we rented bikes, so she's going to stand by the bikes. Um, I don't know how much longer we have with them, so I'm just gonna be really, really quick running around to this root cellar because you cannot access it from the house. But we came down here earlier. I'm not gonna be down here long because it is kind of dangerous in here, which you'll see why in a minute. This is the root cellar. There's a hard hat. Maybe I could put that on for safety. Uh, no, I will not. So this, this is actually really gorgeous. Like I would love to have a root cellar or a basement or something. The floor and stuff is all caved in over there. Like there's a bunch of dirt and there's a pipe. Like I'm trying to use my imagination. I can't possibly fathom what this place looked like at the time. But yeah, that's the little root cellar. It's kind of cool in here. Man, I'm so red. <laughs> Bugs all over me. Okay, so we're gonna head back. We're gonna take the bikes back, but I hope this, oh my gosh, let me step outside. I hope that this video shows you a little bit more about the house and has, you know, a little bit better content. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. And if you wanna see more Explore videos, um, just, you know, leave a like, comment, whatever you wanna do. I don't, I don't know, or just ignore it. I don't really care. Um, that's what the back of the house looks like pretty cool so yeah thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next video bye